my mind is always just like you can do more you can do more and sometimes I have to uh, really assess whether I need rest or whether I need to train because if I talk to myself talk to myself it's like what do I need to do the answer is always train so it's never rest so I need people to tell me to rest so the next two days I mean you're making history here next two days how do you compare that to wrestling for the world title or for the in the Olympics I mean yeah there's a big difference but right. how do you feel about it is it all the same to you Nah, the competing for the worlds in the Olympics is the thing that I get most excited for it's I mean it's the being I've always wanted to be the best in the world at whatever I did if I if I found out there was the highest level then I wanted to be the best at that level and that's what the world and the Olympics offer but this is so unique the fans 20,000 fans team aspect uh, different challenges you know you've been sitting down the last two interviews is yeah. there anything to do that is it just like your output's so high man you just scored 23 points on an Oli a guy who's wrestling the worlds yeah he's an olympian too right i don't know he's a, i know he's in the real world yeah, yeah. He wrestled in Vegas the stuff like that, right? yeah but there's so much output right is that what is that why you're resting yeah that's why i'm resting i don't uh my, my arms and my legs get really tired when i wrestle and uh i remember earlier in the season like halfway through the season like the Penn State duel, Michigan duel, NC State duel, people thought like maybe I was out of shape or something, but not out of shape. I'm just like working as hard as I possibly can, so I get tired. It's inevitable. You love winning so much, and you wanted to win so bad for your team at, at Penn State. Yeah. You're trying things. I don't know if you drill a lot of that. No, nah, yeah. Right? But you wanted to win so bad, because I'm like sitting, I'm yelling, at, why is he doing that, <laughs> right? But you want to win so bad. Is it just like this burning in your stomach, just ache in your belt? You just, you just long for it and you want it so bad? Yeah, well, I mean, well, yeah, I really, uh, I'll do anything. I'll fight anyone. I'll do anything that needs to be done uh, to compete at my highest level and to help my team. 19-1 on the day. That's not too bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, we thought we could go 20-0, 20, 20 and 0, but 19-1 and is good. And I feel real good about tomorrow. I think, I mean, just looking at the brackets and the way they played out uh, at 57, you know, you don't want to overlook anybody, but at 57, uh, LaValle got upset, then Monday got beat. So then we got a guy we've already beaten pretty bad. So, and obviously, NATO, uh, Pletcher's wrestling great all season. Luke, I mean, Joey, Tech Folders guy. Uh, Keyshawn looked good. He's going to wrestle a guy that he had a close match with. Uh, and then back half, me, Colin, Miles, and Bo. I feel really confident about all of us making it to the semis. That's huge. Yeah, nine in the semis. I don't know when's the last time that's been done. I don't know, man. Yeah. That's pretty incredible. Uh, <laughs> as far as output and you know, you you doing everything you can. Don't worry about wearing your body out. No, I'm durable. I'm durable. I love hard work, uh, and I'm, I'm going to be doing this for a lot longer and continuing to put a lot of output out there. Do you regret the tweet that you sent out before Penn State? No. That's a great tweet. <laughs> people people, people like that tweet. So you, you it's own all, it. I, I, I'm friends with like most of the Penn State team, you know, and I've trained there. I know Kale well, Cody well, Casey, Russell Jake a bunch. So it's all just like messing around. I mean, I want to hype things up, you know. I want people to it start. It works. I want people to get mad. I want people to start really thinking about things. It worked. No, Herbert loves it, yeah. <laughs> All right, last thing. I heard you're permanently staying in Columbus. I heard something about there might be you staying in Columbus. Yeah. I heard you're not going anywhere. Yeah, I'll be staying and training at the Ohio RTC, yep. So what's, what's cemented that for you? Um, a couple of different things. They they have always taken care of me and pray, uh, guaranteed the best training environment. They're willing to fly people in from overseas, contact people from different schools. They allow me to go train at different universities. You know, some people are kind of territorial, won't let you leave, but I can go train at Michigan, Penn State, uh, Nebraska, and North Carolina if I wanted to. They'll let me go overseas when I want to. So I got a lot of freedom uh, and fina financially. Uh, we haven't worked out the details yet, but uh, probably be a pretty good package. I don't think you worry about that. Oh yeah. Well, it's nice, but yeah, <laughs> I like wrest. I love wrestling, so 
Yeah. You tell me about this tweet being like it's not that. Oh, it was a lot. It was at the Penn State duel. I s tweeted that uh, I'm coming to st State College and I'm bringing hell with me. And then I only won by five points. So people were like, oh, you didn't really bring hell with you. But it is what it is. Sometimes, you, sometimes I try to back it up all the time, but sometimes you don't wrestle as well as you want to. Do you call it trash talking or do you just call it fun? A bit of both. I want, I want to... I want people to get excited about it and be like, can Ohio State do this? Or I want people to get mad. When people are mad, they want to watch. When people are happy, they want to watch. So many different things that draw people in. So I just want to, and people just love wrestling, so they're going to come watch wrestling for that reason as well. But I feel like uh, if I can get under some people's skin and make them really want us, want us, want to see us lose, then uh, I don't know. I, it's no big deal. <laughs> yeah, have you said anything here as far as... No, not really. Billboard? No. Nah. <laughs> oh, no, not yet. When, when are you going to two knee pads? Like the great ones? No, nah, I'll never move on. <laughs> to, uh, I'll never move on to two knee pads. Hey, good luck to me. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, appreciate it.